the unbeatable crap system got huge response in our last video so we're going to be building on that in this video we're going to be talking about what we call the basic unbeatable crap strategy variation that we talk about at uh, on our website at maxprofit.ws forward slash craps and um, the reason why we're doing this video is because we did a very basic video on the unbeatable crap system and this actual unbeatable uh, crap strategy variation was what we had put in our newsletter to people that had um, come and bought our system and we would give them this as the full system again since that time we've built on the system even more so I'm gonna go and get into this variation and show you exactly how it works and how you can maximize earnings on a craps table the first thing you need to understand is any crap system that's good okay needs to be based on these things and um, this system in itself is based on first off timing okay timing is extremely important when you're playing craps uh, putting money on the board when you're certain a profit is what timing is based on again we're looking to maximize earnings you're betting to make money that's just what it boils down to and this system focuses on just that uh, limited risk this system uh, limits risk by limiting the amount of time money is in action or on the board now the only way to limit risk in a casino environment is by limiting the amount of time money is exposed to the casino itself now probability which is the craps counting system okay now a lot of people want to argue probability and say it doesn't work but here's the truth to that in online casinos there are mathematical algorithms that are actually in place to keep track of players that utilize crap systems now they actually have math in place to look for players that are actively using probability when playing now this is where betting strategy becomes important now if you're using an effective probability system and the casino catches on to what you're doing you'll be banned for it just like you'd be banned for counting cards now this in itself is testimony to the effectiveness of probability in dice now every professional gambler of note who's making a killing in Vegas or in the online casinos utilize probability based systems that's just the way it works if you don't understand why sevens roll back to back or why certain things must happen to keep the dice odds universally accurate then understand this probability systems are all limited risk systems because they will limit the amount of time money sits on the board automatically that decreases the amount of money you stand to lose so even if you don't understand probability the science behind it or the doctors who actively study it understand that even at a fundamental level it is making you a better player now um, the results of the winning crap system are pretty well documented uh, we have sold over seven thousand of these things um, it, it, this thing just went viral. We don't market this anywhere off of YouTube and off a really basic advertising campaign we run online. And we have sold over 7,000 of these systems. Our average client is earning over $500 a day with the winning crap system. Um, again, we have a high degree of system retention and loyalty. This is huge. People that use our system continue to use it and they remain loyal to the system. We have consistent online and offline casino performance and that's a key to having a winning system is having consistent performance uh, hundreds of testimonials you can go to our website read those testimonials from people we have audio testimonials that people have submitted talking about how much money they're making with our systems now the unbeatable crap system variation is is based off this we're maximizing income after chain sevens the original unbeatable crap system talked about maximizing income after back to back set or back, uh, off the possibility of back to back sevens not being rolled this time we're maximizing income after that happens the system follows a simple sevens count and keep tracks of the eights and sixes in relation to the other numbers now again um, this is, the count itself is actually pretty simple and if you want to get the actual count in detail uh, it's available on our newsletter at that site maxprofit.ws forward slash craps just go there get on our newsletter and we send this uh, the the actual count that we use direct to your email now again we also plug in a simple three two one uh, two-point monetization piggyback system to make you money while your money's on the board so um, that's another thing we get into and um, it's really simple uh, to plug that in and there's other systems you can actually plug in as well that will monetize better than this system but again this is just a basic variation we're showing here to give people a general idea of how to make money at a casino how to beat this game up so I'm gonna go and hop into the game right now I'm gonna show you this in action so here we are inside the craps game right now. Now a lot of people were saying in some of the earlier videos they wanted to be able to see the betting strategy, uh, bankroll, whatnot, and being in a live situation, live casino, uh, 
it made it very difficult to show bankroll because of account information and things like that. So what we've done is we switched to a crap simulator where I do these videos and I'm able to show in more detail exactly how these systems work and do them with exact bankroll, exact what we're doing. And this is also the same software we use to test our systems and games. We do millions of rolls through the system and this is where these strategies and systems are born basically. So here we are, we got a bankroll of $500. Now when you first come into a casino, if it's a live casino, you're going to be seeing a lot of action on the board. Uh, people playing, betting, betting, play, betting on spaces and all that stuff. The main thing is you don't want to involve yourself with that again. You want to, you want to pay attention to the dice and only jump in when you are standing to make money, when you understand that probability is in your favor. Now, if you're an online casino, obviously you can't do that. To roll the dice, you have to have some money in action. So again, this is where you play table minimums. Uh, if you're at a dollar table, play the dollar minimum on the pass line. And uh, just play the pass line until the count is correct. And that's basically what you're looking for. So what we're doing right now is I'm going to start rolling the dice. Now, that was a four. That was a six. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm just keeping track of the flow. Now, there's a certain count we use. Each roll of the dice is assigned a different point. Now, um... Again, in the old unbeatable crap system, we'd be looking for the 7 to roll before we bet. Except this time what we're actually doing for this particular count, the basic setup of this, I'm actually looking for the 7s to roll back to back. So I'm going to continue rolling. I might have to edit this video down and cut it down a little bit because it can take a while for the 7s to appear back to back. We just had a 7. And um, again, what we're looking for now is the back to back 7s that are extremely rare. So that's what we're rolling for right now to edit this down and we're at 225 rolls right now before sevens have appeared back to back it's a really good streak if you were playing the basic unbeatable crap system the time to leave is now you've already monetized but since this is the variation we start monetizing right now so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the basic thing that we do on the unbeatable crap system which is bet place bets across the top so we're going to do 25 and 35 dollar place bets all the way across the top off the seven now it's with the way that we have it set up right now you're not going to win off the first point that's hit right now. So what's going to have to happen is the points going to have to be set before any of these place bets start paying off. Some casinos have that, some casinos don't. We're assuming the worst, so that's what we have it set up right now. So what we're going to do from there is we're going to go ahead and roll. First point that hit was 8. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place our first come bet. $25 in the come because we're going to set two points to make money. We're going to play a 3-2-1 strategy, piggyback strategy on that point. So we're going to hit the next thing. Now, the point that roll was four, so we're going to take our bet and winnings at this point. And the first point that was hit was four, which is a low probability of rolling again, so we're only going to take one odds on that. Three, two, one. We're either going to do three, two, or one. So, again, we're, we're going to take one on that. If it was a five or a nine, we would have taken two. Six and eights, we do three odds. So, one X, two X, three X odds on the two-point piggyback system. We're going to put another... Uh, $25 in the come, set another point. Uh, we hit a 6 this time. Uh, that paid off, so we're going to take the bet and winnings. Now, at this point, if you want to play it safe, you take down all your other place bets. All place bets at this point should come down. So what, that's what we're going to do right now. All of our place bets come down. Now we're going to take triple odds on the 6. Now, so we got triple odds there on the six, and um, so we got two points now. So what we do now is we just let it ride, and hope those two points hit. Now, as you can see, the count as it is right now, the sevens aren't coming up often at all. So, um, and that's also because of where the count's at. Our fours just hit. We're taking bet and winnings. And now we're just looking for that. Either the 6 or the 7 is going to hit at this point. Well, and the 6 hit. But whether the 6 or the 7 hit, it didn't make a difference. We were already off in profit. We started with $500, we're up to $752 off that one quick uh, two-minute game that I just played right there. And um, that's how you make money. That you, you have to put your money on the board, get it off really fast. Now what we're going to do from this point forward is we're going to wait for the 7 to roll back-to-back -back again. Then we're going to hit it uh, again, do the same strategy. Again, um, you want to make sure the count is at least a plus four before you do this otherwise you're, you're gonna chance hitting sevens but as long as you play the count correctly you play probability and you run through this just like that you're gonna make money so and that's the way it works
I hope it was beneficial for you, and I hope you learned something.